A Rhode Island woman is fined for feeding a coyote. Joanne McKnight is the first person to be prosecuted on Aquidneck Island for violating local laws intended to keep people from feeding animals. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright has the details, new at 530. The woman who lives in this house says she's seen coyotes roam this neighborhood frequently, but she insists that she's never fed any of them. Portsmouth woman is vowing to appeal after a judge found her guilty of feeding a coyote, ordering her to pay a $50 fine and $50 in court costs. This was a very serious problem feeding coyotes. Numi Mitchell is the lead scientist for the Narragansett Bay Coyote Study, a project that examines the coyote population. She presented evidence in court Wednesday showing a coyote with a GPS collar was making repeat stops to Joanne McKnight's house on Jepson Lane, even though an animal control officer told her not to feed it. I think we're one of the only uh, places in the United States with a no feeding ordinance for coyotes. Mitchell says this map shows the coyote came to McKnight's house 15 times, suggesting a significant source of food. McKnight was too upset to go on camera, but she told me off camera she's innocent. It's unfortunate because she, she does have a good name. She's a longtime Portsmouth res resident. It's sad to see her treated like that. Nora Tyre Wittick, McKnight's former neighbor, says despite evidence a coyote came to McKnight's house, there's no evidence she was feeding it. Mitchell says feeding coyotes encourages them to approach humans for food. That of course is is scary and also a risk to small pets and uh, a real concern to neighbors. McKnight is working to overturn the judge's ruling. $50 may not seem like a lot but to someone like Joanne that's a lot of money and it's her good name. McKnight is working on getting a lawyer to help with her appeal. In Portsmouth with the East Bay Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.